What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this, another edition of Cub Reacts as we continue to explore the latest new musical flavor worldwide. Today, we are heading back to Zambia once again. This one, the sounds of the one and only Maki 2, a huge artist, someone we've had the actual pleasure of interviewing before as well. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to check this one out and see how it is sounding. I know a lot of you have been on to me to check it out, so that's what we're doing today. As always, if you are new to the channel and you're enjoying what we're doing, do make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page turning notifications on as well leaving a like leaving a comment and all of that good stuff and without further ado let's jump right into this one let's go so i know a lot of you have been on to me to check out this one so i'm hoping for good things Okay, so immediately, immediately you're getting a very ethereal backdrop building up on this one. You've got these slow floating string lines um, really pushing everything forward. You've got this really kind of delicate block of pad texture as well. Just giving you a, a, just an overall floaty feel. Really, really interesting stuff, man. Um, again, the introduction of the video feels like this is just going to be a kind of what went wrong sort of scenario form. That's going to be the kind of role that's being played. The video is called I'm Sorry. Presumably that's sorry to people that believed in me, maybe. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. When I was young, I had so much potential. Even the teachers could see I was special. Now I'm just a shell of myself in the ghetto. Just another junkie with a fucked up mental. What happened to the goals and the dreams that I had? What happened? All I wanted was to make my mama proud. Now I'm deep in Chiboli and the paper video. When I junta mulolo, the cueva na balu. Really, really clean, man. Again, this is what Maki 2 is good at. He's good at hitting a point. He's good at being, this is what we're going to talk about. And he's very good at making you feel where he's coming from. Um, I think this is sounding really really nice the intensity of those drum lines is it could potentially be a put off but the way that he's able to utilize his vocal structure and the intensity of his vocal actually almost calms those drum lines down in comparison when you're listening to it all together um vocal wise he sounds great lyric wise he's on the money as he always is i know he does tend to fluctuate between languages as well so apologies for what i'm not able to translate in the future but this is sounding wicked <laughs> does sound a lot like this is going to be a tune based around well it already is a tune based around the idea of i had all this potential i didn't get there i'm sorry um which is a story that is true of many people man i won't lie it's a feeling that i felt in my life beforehand um and it's something that does ring true to be honest with you i think the the actual combination of of i feel emotional harmony that comes into play across the hook on this one that kind of slow build up of just rap style vocals more melodic vocals pure melodic vocals harmony on the sing along for the hook um um, it's a really nice kind of progression of vocals it almost represents the idea of I'm fulfilling my potential so there's a nice kind of synergy going on there um, in the background <laughs> I mean, the transitions on this are great as well. There's clearly a lot of thought and effort gone into the video. Um, again, there's there's two there's two kind of sides to this. There's a sort of side where he's going, I'm sorry, I didn't achieve what I was supposed to. Things went wrong. And then you've got the other side, which is obviously the parents kind of being like, why didn't you achieve? But also feeling sad at the same time. So there's a, there's a lot of emotion wrapped up in this. It's a very kind of true life scenario. And Mackie does a really good job of representing that. It's really, really cool. 
day I'll fly. I won't even lie, even right now I'm hype. But I want you to know that every day may I try for you. The suicide notes that I write for you. It's hard to keep living, but I fight for you. You see why I'm a fuck up, win, but I see me deep. But one day I'm gonna make it right for you. The tears in my mama's eyes break my heart. I would do anything just to get a fresh start. So I'm back like the prodigal son. It's been rainy, I need some sun. Mama, there's a lot in this video man there's a lot in the video and in the context of the tune this is going to be a tune i feel that does affect a lot of people it's going to be something that people kind of refer back to when they're not in the best of places um i think there's a lot to it that's the best thing i can say obviously he's talking about writing suicide notes which is always a, a difficult topic to approach there's there's a lot of emotion about doing like the reason i'm not doing it is to make you proud so um, yeah, man. Real, real emotional roller coaster going on than this one. Mackie's killing it lyric wise. The actual instrumental itself is just stripped back enough to allow those emotional vocals to run through the middle as well. Really interesting tune. <laughs> Fantastic storyteller, man. Like a really, really good storyteller. You get rappers that are really good at rapping. You get rappers that are really good at just general lyricism. You get punchline rappers. You get flow rappers. You get rappers that seem to do it all and then add melody in. What you get with Mackie 2 is pretty much all of those elements plus incredible storytelling. And at the end of the day... Um, rapping isn't too far from poetry you're trying to tell a story through your own means through your own energy through your own way of um conveying certain scenarios and emotions and that's a great example of this is a great example of that being done at a really really high level um it's super impressive man that's the that's pretty much all i can say at this moment in time it's super super impressive and this is going to be a tune that hits people i do really feel that maybe that's why so many of you were keen on me um reviewing it today i'll make you smile i'll make you proud Really nice hearing that DJ Dro name as well. I've, I've, I'm pretty sure I've, I've um, premiered some DJ Dro material on, on the old breakfast show that I used to run. I'm pretty sure we did. Um, but really, really good producer. Again, a name I see popping up all the time. Super consistent. Always got a kind of crispy edge to his production as well. And I know he does love a good piece of woodwind like that saxophone. Again, um, it sounds like we're just going to get an instrumental run for the next sort of minute and a half or minute or so, which I'm not mad at. It's good to kind of let the tune diffuse. You don't want to kind of overbear it with additional lyricism, especially when the message is already so tightly packed in Let's go. Uh, Let it run. This is uh, Constable B, the Central Police. Uh, I'm just calling to inform you at uh, Mona and George Tampeza Noko from Chimfolo. Uh, I dread the day I get a phone call like that, man. I really, really do. I'm not. I'm not trying to kind of. I'm trying to think of the best way to describe this, man. I'm, not, I'm definitely not trying to do that as a kind of. Oh, this is my reaction sort of thing. It's just a phone call I'm, I've never had, and it's a phone call I'm absolutely dreading. Um, more than anything else, I have no idea how I'm going to react in that scenario. So yeah, it's 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 a it's a it's a, it's a huge video, man. It's a really really huge video. Not necessarily because it's super high budgeted or it's um, I don't know super crisply lit. It's just a video where the storyboarding and the subject matter is going to touch people's hearts. Um, maybe not in the best way either, but it's a video that's going to stick with people. Um, so you can't fault it out in that regard. Identify body. It's good they've got the messages in at the end. Yeah, man. I don't know whether this is... So this is apparently in partnership with the Ministry of Youth, Sport and Arts. Um, that's good to see. 
Um, that's good to see that there's like some collaborative stuff going on behind the message of the tune. And again, big up Maki Tuma um, for kind of putting this out there as a message, obviously allowing the tune just to play out at the end, which is a really smart thing to do. It allows you to kind of address sort of situations, allows um, a minute or so of the tune still playing, so you're still in the groove of it to kind of put these messages up on screen. Um, and overall, uh, this is pretty, pretty good, man. It really, really is. The tune itself definitely hits home. I think the video amplifies things tenfold. Um, and I think this is going to be a tune that a lot of people either go to when they're not feeling great or a tune that people, um, I don't know, it might be a tune that doesn't uh, really, people don't technically go towards. I don't know. It's, it's a difficult one, man. But I think personally, I think this is a very impressive tune. I think it touches on a lot of things. Uh, it's definitely touched on a couple of things in, in my life. Um, and I'm, I'm sure it's not even related to me at all, um, as you can see um, from messages. But I think that's that's the beauty of something like this. If you can take something from it, wherever you are, wherever you are based in the world, then that's a, that ultimately, I think, is a good thing. So there we go. Uh, guys, let me know your thoughts on this one. I'm sure you're going to have some uh, some big comments uh, to put together on it. So do let me know in the comment section down below. Um, and hopefully you have enjoyed this reaction. A little bit more melancholy than usual, but I want to kind of show respect to what the tune is and what it represents. So yeah, very interesting stuff indeed. As always, if you are new to the channel and you're enjoying what we're doing, do make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page, turning notifications on, leaving a like, leaving a comment, and all of that good stuff. And we shall see you all next time. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Be safe out there and peace. Cobos on them sounding so good right now My they sound in a bright and town Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now Cobcam TV Stay locked